three, two, one. Hey. Welcome to our own little piece of Mars in Stevenage. This new facility is really fantastic. I mean, it looks so cool and high tech and you can just come down here and pretend you're on another planet. It'll be really useful for our testing to be able to have not just one, but several rovers all testing different areas at once. Now we've got so many different streams of engineering that we've got to develop towards that final solution. Previous Mars missions have looked for uh, the, the geology of the planet and the conditions for life. We are the first mission to look for life directly. The autonomy is one of the key technologies to develop for the mission, so we built this Mars Yard facility to help us test it. There are several prototypes in here, which are all the same weight on Earth as the real one will be on Mars, so we can develop that intelligence, knowing that it'll work just as well on the flight rover when we get to Mars as it does in here. My job is really to make sure that the actual physical body of the Mars rover is going to be strong enough for the ascent on the rocket, but also the entry, descent and landing onto Mars and then clambering around on the rocks once it gets there. One of the key features of this facility is a system that allows us to track the rover when it's driving around the Mars yard. So this consists of two parts, the camera on the back of the rover and the markers you see on the ceiling. This system is normally used in Hollywood for tracking cameras in front of green screens, but we use it to track the rover instead, making sure the rover is where it thinks it is. I think the ExoMars project is a really good means to inspire the general public just because it's so tangible, so accessible, a rover going and exploring on another planet. Yeah.